the RAF's trainee metalsmiths knocking parts together the old-fashioned way. Skills dating back years that, after a testing process, could theoretically help fix and maintain some of the most advanced kits in UK defence. The RAF's number four school of technical training is part of the Defence College of Technical Training in Wiltshire. Aeronautical, electronic and mechanical engineers from all three services can learn their trade here. It's a very hands-on trade. Not many people know about this trade either. So, so uh, we're doing advanced sheet metal work, so we do a bit at phase two, uh, but then you come back here and hone your skills, do more complex parts, uh, knocking over aluminium, steel, um, and learn different light techniques like the English wheel. Certain skills never fade. AS1 Wigan is bending sheet metal to the shape of aircraft skin. It takes time and care to get right, but it's worth it to keep the RAF flying. Using that on uh, different platforms, when you take it back to your, your skills back to unit, um, you're doing stuff for fighter jets like Typhoon or at Lossy Mouth where I'm from, a P8 as well, which is an intelligence aircraft. For the next st stage of my career, I can come back here on more advanced courses, do like advanced welding, machining. Under the skin of each aircraft, engines, and behind each one are engineering teams trusted to keep the system up and running operationally. Hoping to take that next step, trainees in the test bay must strip down and rebuild an engine to prove they know it inside out. They basically teach you the like, basics of all two-stroke engines, four-stroke engines, everything really, so that when you actually get to any vehicle in the RAF, you have a, at least a base knowledge of what's going on, because obviously you'll have your uh, technical instructions that you'd follow anyway, but you'd at least know what's going on, you're not just reading off a piece of paper. Because obviously when you get deployed and stuff, you're gonna be, you might have limited tools, limited resources, so you need to know what's going on within your engine so that you can actually fix it if you're in an operational environment and get it home before you can fix it properly how it's meant to be done. People's lives depend on it, the safety of others, so you need to get it done right and safely, as best you can, really. By the end of this course, uh, once they arrive at their main operating bases, they'll be able to fault find uh, and rectify faults on complex equipment that we have in service, um, as well as maintain that equipment to make sure that it's available for frontline use. Um, ultimately, it's all about getting the aircraft in the air, uh, and we support that at this level. They come in from all different backgrounds, so some have got previous knowledge and some have, have never touched an engine before. So we're all trying to get them up to that stage where they're all comfortable uh, with their hands-on application and they're all able to diagnose um, complicated faults on, on engines. As well as learning the traditional techniques, trainees also use cutting-edge software on the course to keep pace with the evolving technology entering the RAF. Tom Sables, BFBS Forces News, Lynham. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.